Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java and Raspberry Pi programming tutorial series. This tutorial will be about uh, what, what are Hertz, and then I'll be demonstrating Hertz with a blinking LED. Uh, first thing I want to do is pull up my website, pyjava.com. We'll select Pi Programming. Then we'll scroll down here to the Java SE, the Standard Edition Tutorials. We'll select this tutorial here. So the Hertz blinking LED tutorial. So we have all heard of the term megahertz and gigahertz, so what are these hertz things anyway? Well, in my last tutorial, Blinking LED Explained, I talked briefly about pin 4 being either high, 1, or low, 0. I created the program to have an infinite loop where pin 4 was kept high for 500 milliseconds, which is half a second, and low for 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. I designed it that way for a very specific purpose, and now I will, I will be continuing directly from where I left off on my last tutorial. So I'm going to talk about duty cycle, and duty cycle is always represented as a percentage. So our program keeps cycling between high and low over and over and over and over and over. Uh, each cycle begins just um, as pin 4 goes high and ends just before it goes high again. Okay. So let me repeat that. Each cycle begins just as, just as pin 4 goes high and ends just before it goes high again. Now, since pin 4 is kept high for 500 milliseconds, it is fair to say that 50% of the cycle was high and 50% of the cycle was low. The term duty cycle is the percentage of time that pin 4 is kept high, so our duty cycle is 50%. Now let's change the program to 750 milliseconds high and 250 milliseconds low. Our duty cycle will be now 775%. And let's go ahead and uh, let's get this off the screen. I'll just connect over to my Raspberry Pi real quick. We'll start from where we left off. CD Java. Uppercase Java. CD LED blank. And my caps lock, and then um, let's do a leaf pad LED blank dot Java. Okay, well, actually, I'd left it in the last video at five seconds, so we'll put this down to 500 seconds. Come over here and save, and of course, that's blocking. So, what we'll do is we'll just open up another terminal, change directories to the Java folder, change directories to the LED blank folder, and we'll do Java C led blink dot java and then let's just start running the thing okay before i do here i'm going to bring up my window with my raspberry pi in it and we'll just make that about that size we'll scoot this over here and we'll go ahead and start her up okay and of course that that black fabric behind there is working much better so we can actually see the LED blank. So um, we're keeping it on for 500 milliseconds and then off for 500 milliseconds. All right, so here's our 50% duty cycle, right? We've got the volts on this little illustration over here. And um, as, I, as you remember, it's about 3.25 volts. So I've got this going up one, two, three and a quarter volts here. Right, and we keep it high for 500 milliseconds, and then we keep it low for 500 milliseconds. Then we keep it high, 500, low, 500, high, 500, low, 500. Um, so 50% of, of course, our total time is 1,000 milliseconds or 1 millisecond, so 50% of that is high, so our duty cycle equals 50%. All right, let's change our duty cycle to 75%, which would be... What we'll do is change this to 750 milliseconds and change this down to 250 milliseconds. We still have a total of 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. And let's go ahead and save that here. Let's do Control-C to break out of that. Up arrow twice to recompile. Up arrow twice to start running it again. Okay, now our LED is staying on 75% of the cycle and off 25% of the cycle, okay? So coming back over to uh, my web browser here, right? This is what our duty cycle looks like at 75%. Still the same voltage, still the same cycle length, right? Um, 750 milliseconds high, and there's a lot more that I'll talk about that this whole, whole stuff in future tutorials, but... 
just um, this tutorial, if you understand what duty cycle is by the end of it and what Hertz is by the end of it, then then we're doing we're doing great. So, a 750 milliseconds high, 20 250 milliseconds low, and we're repeating that cycle over and over and over again. Okay. Um, so we've got this right there. Let's go ahead and do just. Uh, one more thing here, what a duty cycle of 25% would look like, and that's 25% high, 75% low. 250 milliseconds high, 750 milliseconds low. And let's take two seconds to do that. We'll change this to two, and this to seven. All right, we'll save that. Come down here, hit Control C, up arrow twice, compile, up arrow twice, and run it. Okay, now you can see it's off for the most part and blinking just very quickly here. All right, um, so that's what duty cycle is. All right, now let's talk about what Hertz, okay? Hertz, which is abbreviated as uppercase H and a lowercase Z is simply the number of duty cycles that occur during a period of time. Now the period of time that you'll have to remember is super simple, exactly one second. Our program is cycling every one second, so it is running at exactly one hertz. It is really that simple, okay? So this is one hertz with a duty cycle of 50%, right? Because you can see I added seconds down here. So here's one second, two seconds, three seconds. Keep it on for 500 milliseconds off, right? One hertz, we're, uh, let's actually change our LED back to one hertz here. Um, Break out of that, we'll just change this. And let's save this here, boom. Recompile. Rerun, and let me pull up the window there. All right, so now we are cycling our LED at one hertz with a 50% duty cycle, okay? So we've now seen what a 50% duty cycle looks like, a 75% duty cycle, and a 25% duty cycle all running at one hertz. Okay, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to change this to two hertz with a duty cycle of 50%, right? So that means we have to have two duty cycles in one second, and so we'll end up reducing the amount of time that it's high and low and high and low to make two complete duty cycles. All right, let's go ahead and pop back over and actually actually do that here. All right, control C. Um, I thought about how to do that, right? I mean, you know this is going to, uh, you know what, just, just for grins and giggles, I'm gonna do this 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 will produce the same exact result, but uh, this will basically be, for example, duty. This will be end uh, duty cycle one, and this will be end duty cycle. Now, this is completely unnecessary splitting this off into two, but. For, to, to kind of visually represent this, we're doing 250 milliseconds times four, which is a thousand milliseconds, right? And we're doing two cycles in that thousand milliseconds. Of course, our endless loop here, you know, makes it kind of irrelevant there, but uh, just to kind of, you know, spell it out even, even more there. So um, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so now our LED looks like it's just blinking more rapidly, okay? So, and that's exactly what it's doing there, is it's just blinking more rapidly. We've still got a 50% uh, a duty cycle, right? Only we're running it at two hertz now, okay? Um, now, this next illustration will be 10 hertz, and I'm gonna do a duty cycle of 70%, right? So over here, I've got a little 70, per, 70 milliseconds high, 30 milliseconds low. Combine these two, they equal 100 milliseconds, and of course times 10 is 1,000 milliseconds. So we're gonna be executing 10 duty cycles in one second. So in other words, that's how it comes out to 10 hertz, okay? And we're gonna do, um, let's go ahead and just pop into that 10 hertz right at the moment there. Let's do Control-C to exit. 
Okay, so uh, we know we don't need to make all these do 10 of these duty cycles in the while statement. We're going to make them all even there. And so we're going to do 70 on and uh, 30 off. Okay, so each, each duty cycle is going to last 100 milliseconds. And there is 10 times 100 is 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. So this will loop through and run um, at 10 hertz, okay? So we'll save that, uh, we'll come out here, C, and twice, compile it. And now let's run it. Let me go ahead and just get that over there. All right. Okay, so now it almost it almost looks like it's pulsing on the video here. My video frames are 60 frames per second, so that's why it's not actually true to life on what you're seeing. Um, when you're actually looking at it yourself, it'll just look like it's really rapidly blinking, like the LED almost never goes off there, okay? And so now I'm going to show you guys some something interesting here. Let's get down and we'll, we'll change this to 50 hertz here, okay? So... Um, 50 hertz means we need our numbers to add up to 20 there. So I'm going to do a duty cycle of 10 and 10, right? So that'll be 20 milliseconds for each cycle. 20 times 50 is 1,000. So we'll be running at 50 hertz here on this, okay? So let's go ahead and save this. Let's break out of that and um, recompile it. And rerun it. Okay, now if you're actually looking at it, it looks like it's just completely solid. The camera can pick up just a, almost a little slight pulse, and my eyes just kind of notice just a slight flicker, but not nothing really, nothing really that I can tell. But it almost just looks like the LED is just flickering barely, barely. Um, let's go ahead and take this all the way to 100 hertz here, and we'll do it on a. On a, still we're at 50% uh, on our duty cycle. We're adding uh, 10 milliseconds total times 100, which will be 1,000 milliseconds. So running this at 100 hertz and let's see what happens. Okay, all right. Okay, now when I look at it, um, basically, it looks like it's running pretty smooth. Occasionally, there's a little bit of jitter, but that is actually, um, I'll go over what that is later on in, in future tutorials there. But it just looks like the light, the LED is kind of running just solid for the most part there. Now, um, it's still running a duty cycle of 50%. So, how can we kind of, what I want to go from here is, is pretty much, you know, if you understand that, you understand hertz, you understand duty cycles. Now, what can we actually do with them? So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, when we start the program out, right, I am going to turn the, um, turn the LED on for five seconds. Five seconds, okay? And what's going to happen is, and then after this while is done, actually, you know what, I'm gonna loop this through. We're not gonna do a while anymore. I'm gonna do a for statement in here. So for int i equals zero, i is less than, if we're running 100 times a second, maybe we'll run this for 500, it's, it's running at 100 hertz, which as you know is 100 um, cycles per second, duty cycles per second. So if we're running at 100 hertz and we run, run this for five seconds, we'll do this for 500 loops, right? Plus, plus. okay, and we'll finish that out. So what's gonna happen is this is going to light up full brightness and then it's gonna do something interesting here and then it'll go full brightness again, okay? So we'll save that and come down here. We'll see, break out a couple up arrows to compile. And now we're going to run it again. Okay, so when you're looking at it, it's at full brightness for five seconds. And then all of a sudden, did you see that on the screen? If you saw it on the screen, it dimmed out, right? That's because we're only seeing 50% of the total light waves coming into our eyes anymore. 
but it's happening so rapidly that the human eye really can't detect that it's cycling through that much there. And then it got bright again, of course. Um, what I'll do is I'll run that one more time there. Okay, we're gonna go after we, oh, here we go. Okay, so we're at full brightness right now. And then did you see how it got dim? And then full brightness again. Okay, so what if we really want to dim it? Well, we can change our duty cycle. That's all we have to do. Uh, we'll still keep the same 100 hertz going, but we'll change our duty cycle. So if we want to really dim this out, I'm going to change this to 2 and this to 8. We're still at 10, 10 millisecond total time duty cycle. The duty cycle is 20% now, though, okay? Because that's the time that's high. So let's go ahead and save that. We'll come back down here and uh, recompile. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to, at the very end of this, I'm going to shut this off for the next one here. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Let's save that. That way it turns the LED off at the next next time we run our end of our program. All right, and let's go ahead and run that. Okay, first five seconds, as bright as it gets because it's running all the time. And then, did you see how dim that got? And now you'll kind of actually see the flicker too if you're looking at it. And then after it's done with its cycles, then it's back to full brightness and then it turns off. Okay, um, we can go we'll go like completely the other direction, barely even do this, even even more dim here, and then I think we're pretty much, you guys pretty much get the idea after that there, so we'll go ahead and pile that, run it, there's our full brightness, five seconds. Now you'll actually see like a little bit of fluttering if you're looking at the LED, but you see it got like really dim down here and then really bright again there, okay? Um, if we increased our hertz, our cycles, uh, our duty cycles per second to say like um, 200 or 500 or even 1,000, right? Then you wouldn't even be able to detect that. Uh, however, the only problem is is at the highest level up here when there's too much overhead because calling calling this and then calling the sleep and then recalling this and then calling the sleep actually takes some CPU time there. So we're really not, we get into these higher numbers here in Hertz's, right? Um, we are not getting all of them, right? Um, this is this is programmed to, to run it at 100 Hertz, but I guarantee you it's running at much less than that because of all the overhead it takes to open up the pin and everything like that. But anyway, I'll talk about all that in a future tutorial there. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, close out of that, and uh, let's just bring this over here and leave you guys with some final thoughts there. And basically that's stay tuned for my next tutor tutorial. We'll yeah, try that again. Stay tuned for my next tutorial where I will show you how we can use an oscilloscope to actually see hertz and duty cycles in real life. Thanks for watching.